What's going on at Chalky? And you're watching 100% NUFC. So this is the 10th episode of Team Weekly. And in this week's news, we're going to be talking about the Capital One Cup, which is now the Carabao Cup. We're also going to be talking about Mike Ashley coming out and speaking to the fans. Also the Tottenham Hotspur eternal defeat, George Rochelle v Red Card, and the potential signing of Hosselu from Stoke. So stay tuned. And just before we jump into the episode, I just want to say a massive thank you to you guys for 400 subscribers. There is going to be a vlog on the channel, which is linked down below in the description. And we're now pushing to 500 subscribers, so thank you very much. So anyway, moving on to the main news. So last Thursday, it was announced in the Carabao Cup, Newcastle had have a home tie in the second round against Nottingham Forest. There will be a vlog uh, next week on the channel, so stay tuned for it. And uh, it's a team who played last season in the Championship in Nottingham Forest. And it's the return of Darren Murphy, who recently left Newcastle for Nottingham Forest. And I hope when he comes to St James's Park next week that he gets a standing ovation and he gets the respect that he deserves because he did score a few crucial goals for Newcastle last season and in my opinion he done more than Mitrovic, which says a lot. So anyway, it's a chance for Newcastle to progress it to the third round and we're at home. The tickets are £10 but if you get them on the day it's £20 so I would advise you that you buy the tickets well a week before the game which will be on sale tomorrow for when this video comes out. It'll be today when you see it. So, again, it's a chance for you guys who don't have any money to go and see the game. And uh, Rafa Benitez loves the cup. So anyway, we're going to be moving on to the squad numbers, which were released on Friday morning. And uh, I'm not going to be speaking too much on that. There will be an image right now. So we all know that there's been a few changes, so George Rochelle has had his number changed and Tim Krul hasn't been given a number and the likes of Afraf Lazar hasn't been given a number, so them two are potentially out the door and uh, Rafa Benitez has changed the numbers for the roles that he believes that the players should be playing next season and uh, not that it's important too much, are you guys happy with the number changes? I mean, do the players deserve those numbers? Because uh, like I say... The lower your number, the more important your role is at the football club. And uh, except if your name's called Mitrovic, you, you get four plus five. That means number nine for Alan Shearer. But apart from that, uh, you know, the, the lower your number, the bigger role you've got to play for the club in the season. And uh, it was always going to happen. There's always going to be changes. Now we all know who's going to be at the door and who we potentially could be needing uh, throughout the uh, transfer market. There's only a couple of weeks left. And uh, we'll just have to wait and see on that one. So it was also announced on Friday afternoon, Mike actually came out and said that basically when everyone's bought their season tickets, everyone's looking forward to the season, that he hasn't got any money. He basically went and said that we can't compete with the likes of Manchester City, we can't just write a cheque of £200 million. And uh, I'm going to cut the chase because there is a link in the description to, to what I've said. I have your opinions on it, uh, of what I think about Mike Ashley and all that. And uh, basically, what all he's saying is that he hasn't got the money, we can't compete with the top six, but we should be competing to stay in the Premier League, and uh, we're going to have to spend with my means. So, Mike actually went and said that. So, now we'll move on to the Tottenham Hotspur game, which has just finished a couple of days ago on the Sunday. It was my first Premier League game of the season, I was so excited for it, and uh, we lost by two goals to nil. And uh, am I shocked? Not really. I think we're playing a team that's got full of talent. You know, you've got Harry Kane there up front, who scores 30 goals plus a season. He's won the goal be twice and uh, you know he's a phenomenal player. They're a big scary team, you know, they've got the likes of Dembele who pulls the strings in midfield. You've got Ericsson who can create crazy opportunities. You, you know, they've got Sun, they've got the some great centre backs in Alderweireld and uh, Vertonghen and Hugo Lawrence is probably one of the best keepers in the league. So it was always going to be a tough ask. Newcastle were in the game and uh, if it wasn't for John Rochelle being stupid in the second half, diving on not diving, sorry, uh, stamping on Dali Ali. Newcastle it could have got a potential point out of that game. I can't prove whether or not we were going to you know, win the game with 11 men or even get a point, but you know, before he got the, the, the red card in the 40th minute, Newcastle were more than holding their run. And uh, there's, a, there's a debate before half-time that Harry Kane should have been sent off. In my opinion, he should have been sent off for that scissor kick on Florian Lejean. And uh, he's now out for two or three weeks. There was a fear that he could be out for over a month. We also lost uh, Paul Dummett, so we've lost two centre-backs. And uh, I'm quite worried now for, for our potential uh, back four now because there was a lot of call over the summer that we should be getting rid of Grant Hanley. Now I'm proved to be right, we need Grant Hanley because uh, you know things like this can happen and we need all the team for each game that we play because we're not playing Burton, we're not playing Rotherham, 
we're playing big physical teams that you, you know we're going to be having to pit our wits against them. We're going to have to uh, challenge and be be strong. We did look a bit bit weak on Sunday. I don't know if that's because it's the first game and, and we're playing Tottenham, but we're going to have to be uh, you know defensively and better. Um, you know Rafa Benitez had the team you know well drilled on Sunday. We were more than home Moroni. We we were quite uh, quite tight at the back, but. In terms of uh, creating opportunities up front, we, we could improve on that a bit, and we, potentially we do need a creative number ten. We do need another striker that's going to get you ten to fifteen goals, and uh, I can't stress that enough. And uh, from what Mike actually said over the last couple of days, it remains to be seen. And uh, you let me know about the game uh, if you haven't said it already. There is a match day experience, and there is also a review on the game. Uh, you let me know because uh, your thoughts always count, and uh, you know. It, it just wasn't to be. We now move on to Huddersfield on Sunday, which is live on TV on Sky, and uh, hopefully uh, it's a chance for me to get three points. So now we'll move on to some big, big news, really. So Newcastle had have been linked with Hoslu from Stoke. Uh, Newcastle had, had a £12 million bid rejected, but now Newcastle have got him with £5 million and has somehow been accepted. I have absolutely no idea. I mean, how have Stoke City rejected £12 million and then they've accepted five. I mean, potentially the Vezzle well have accepted the £12 million and then spent that other £7 million on another key position for them. I, I don't understand it. And uh, is Hoslu going to potentially do good up front? Is he better than what we've got? Probably not. He might get you 10 goals, but again, we can't really judge him until he plays in the black and white shirt. Uh, is he going to add a bit of quality? Of course he will. But it's one of them that you think you're not really excited about it. You're just happy to have him through the door. It's an extra body. And uh, it's just where we're at now in the market, isn't it? You know, going for players like Hosselu. But uh, I suppose once he's playing and he plays well, then he could win the, the Jordy's over. Uh, what are your thoughts on the potential sign of Hosselu? Um, it is very close at the moment. He is uh, filling in paperwork and he is having a medical. And uh, as soon as he does sign, I will be uh, letting you know on 100% NUFC. So stay tuned and subscribe for it to see that. And uh, last but not least, uh, on Thursday, it's going to be the opening day where you guys can get yourself along. It's a free event from 10 till 2 at St James's Park to go watch the players train. You can get pictures with Rafa Benitez and the players. There's things happening outside the ground, so there's like shooting the goal, there's uh, rides and things like that. So there's so much going on. It's a free event and uh, I'll be there vlogging it. So if you see us, say hello and uh, I don't bite. I know a lot of you have said that you've seen us, but you've been afraid to approach us. Honestly, I don't bite, say hello, and uh, I'll be very grateful to meet you and, uh, and whatnot. But it should hopefully be a good day, and there will be, like I say, something happening on the channel, so stay tuned for that. And uh, obviously the Huddersfield game now uh, is on Sunday. I will be uh, previewing that game. It'll be out either on Friday or Saturday, depending on uh, if I can get any time off work. But again, that's just your weekly roundup of uh, news. If I have missed anything out, do let us know in the description, uh, in the comments down below. Because I'm sure I'm only human like you, I'll probably miss it out. And uh, thank you very much for listening. And uh, thank you very much for you know for all your support. Uh, keep commenting down below. Keep liking the video. And also subscribe if you're new. And uh, keep, we'll keep enjoying this uh, journey together on everything Newcastle United. Because we all love the club the same. And uh, you know I'm loving the YouTube adventure. And uh, again, I'll keep on top of the news. If there's anything I have to break out that the likes of Hostel, I will be uh, letting you know down below. Uh, I'll pin it down if anything's happened uh, in the next couple of days and there'll also be a video. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And uh, it's been Shotty speaking. I'll see you all later. Peace out.